Next we're going to talk about relations. Uh, so like we said in the last chapter, mathematics is all about relationships. Uh, and relations are objects that encode those relationships. Uh, so remember from the very beginning of the class that the set x cross y is the set of all ordered pairs x comma y, where x is a member of the first set and y is a member of the second set. All right, so we're going to let x and y be sets. Then a relation from x to y is any subset r of the Cartesian product x cross y. We say r has domain x and codomain y. Uh, if the pair x, y is a member of r, sometimes we write x, r, y to denote that x is related to y. Uh, relations between finite sets can be represented as Boolean matrices, which is the reason that we took all that effort to create them in the last chapter. Uh, each element of X corresponds to a row, each element of Y corresponds to a column, uh, and then if those two elements are related, we put a 1 where the row and the column intersect, otherwise there's a 0. Uh, the only issue with this is that you have to order those elements yourself, um, but as long as you're consistent, there's no problem. If there is a obvious way to order the elements, such as alphabetically or numerically, then we always pick that one. All right, so let's see a bunch of examples of relations, and when we have a finite example, we'll do a matrix for it. Uh, so one example is if x is any set, a couple of natural choices on the power set are the relation where x and y are related if x is a subset of y and the relation where x and y have the same cardinality. Those are both two really important relations we'll talk about in some great detail later on. Uh, we can also consider if a, b, and c are fixed integers, the set of solutions x, y, and z cross z to the equation ax plus by equals c is a relation as well. Uh, to kind of go with a sillier example to show that it doesn't have to all be mathy, um, if x is the set of people and y, y is the set of animals, then r, where of all pairs x, y, where uh, y is x's pet, is a relation whose domain is the set of people and whose codomain is the set of animals. Uh, so here's a finite example. Um, if x is the set ABC and y is the set 1, 2, then a relation between x and y is the set A1, A2, and C1. Now there's nothing special about that relation, I just picked some pairs because that's what any relation is, it's just a set of pairs between the two sets. Uh, the matrix then, if I order x and y in the obvious way, so I've got a, col a row, sorry, for each element of x, and I've got a column for each element of y, so I'll put a 1 between a and 1 and between a and 2, and I'll put a 1 between c and 1, and I'll put a 0 everywhere else. So that's the matrix um, for MR. More often than not, we're going to be dealing with the case that the domain and the codomain of our relation are the same. In that case, we say R is a relation on the set X. 
these relations may be represented with matrices. All those matrices are going to turn out to be square because the number of elements is the same in the domain and the codomain. But we can also represent them with something called a digraph or a directed graph. In a directed graph, the elements of x are represented as vertices. Two elements are connected by an arrow if the elements are related. So let's check out what that might look like. Let's have x be the set a, b, c, d. And the relation r on x will be the set of pairs a, 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 c, c, a, c, b, and d, a. <coughs> All right, the matrix for R is going to be square. It's going to be a 4 by 4 matrix. So here's A, here's B, here's C, here's D, here's A, here's B, here's C, here's D. That B is uh, way too far over. Let's get it kind of positioned better. There we go. And I'm going to put a 1 between a row and a column anytime they're related. So we have a 1 between the A and the A, a 1 intersecting A and C, a 1 for C and A, a 1 for C and B, and a 1 for D and A, and all of the other entries in my matrix should be 0. For the digraph, I'm going to arrange A, B, C, D somewhere. I can arrange these really however I want uh, as long as the arrows are correct, but the natural way to do it is with a square. So then I'm going to have a loop pointing from A to itself. I'm going to have an arrow pointing from A to C, an arrow pointing back from C to A. We don't do double-ended arrows. We want to have one, ar one arrow per pair in our relation. An arrow from C to B, and an arrow from D to A. So that is the digraph for my relation.